In today's social media platforms, X stands out as one of the biggest players with over 400 million users worldwide. One reason companies turn to X is its ability to support active engagement. However, managing an X account manually can be time consuming, especially for businesses handling high volumes of interactions or needing consistent posting schedules. What if you can create an AI agent to manage and automate your X social media? In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to build an X AI agent using Pydantic AI in Python. Before diving into the tutorial, let me quickly go over X API subscriptions and limitations. X API has three tiers, free, basic, and pro. Pro and basic will have access to all the endpoints and higher usage limit. Meanwhile, the free tier will have access to most of the endpoints with limited usage limit. Fortunately, some of the most important endpoints like posting a tweet, deleting a tweet, like in like a tweet, are still accessible under the free tier. Unfortunately, one of the most useful endpoint accesses to return user info is for basic and pro subscriptions only. For more information, please refer to X documentation. Now navigate to developerx.com and log into developer portal. Create an X account if you don't already have one. Start out create a new project. Give the project a name and go through the steps to create the project and an app. We will skip keys and tokens page. I'll show you how to generate all the keys directly in the app later. Go ahead, click the app you just created. Under user authentication settings, click setup. Change the app permissions to read and write. And for the app type, set it to web app, automated app, or bot. For the app info, if you don't have a callback URI and website URL, simply enter localhost for both. Save the app to save the settings. Navigate back to the app detail. For demonstration purpose, I will save the API credentials in a Python file, but typically you want to save them as environment variables on a config file. In your project directory, create a Python file called creds.py to save the app keys. On the top, click keys and tokens. Generate a consumer key and secret and store them in the credential file. Do the same thing for access tokens and secret. At this point, we are done setting up everything in the X developer console. Let's dive into the agent development in Python. In your project directory, launch a terminal and run the command to install Pydantic AI rich and Tweepy Python libraries. We will start with building the X Toolkit module first. Create a Python file and name the file xtools.py. In the module, import the Python dependencies and set up the login console to log the activities. Logging is optional, but it makes debugging much easier. To create the Pydantic AI X Toolkit, Create a class called xtools. In the init method, create an instance of the Tweepy client object to access X APIs when you're initializing the xtools object. Because we are using a class to manage the xtool functions, the credential and client object are shared among the methods, makes code base management a bit easier. And this should be info. And here are all the X2 functions. There are tons of the things you can do with X API. These are just some of the commonly used methods I can think of. Some of the methods are for paid subscriptions only, which I'll point out later. Now let's go through the tool list. The create tweet method 
is probably the most important function in the toolset to give agent the ability to post a tweet on your behalf. Delete tweet will take a tweet ID and delete the post. Like tweet and unlike tweet will simulate the tweet like and dislike actions. Retweet and unretweet will repost an existing tweet or undo the retweet actions. Everything after unretweet method is for paid subscription only. Get user timeline will return the last in the number of tweets made by the user. Search tweets will take a query string and search for tweets that contain the keyword. Follow user and unfollow user method will follow or unfollow an X user account. Get user details will return an X user's account information like user's name, Idaho, location, description, follower's count, and so on. And the last method, get followers, will return followers of an X user's account. Now that we have finished creating the X toolkit, let's move on to building the X agent to manage our X social media. Create a Python file and name it xagent.py. Pydenic AI makes building a genic agents extremely easy. In the script, import the Python dependencies, Xtools class, and the credentials. Then construct the Xtools object. Next, create a variable to store the system prompt. The system prompt here is probably one of the most important elements in the X agent development to ensure our agent will behave accordingly. In the system prompt, define the role the agent will act as, then list the responsibilities and guidelines it needs to follow. Now set up the X agent using the agent class. As I mentioned before, Pydenic AI makes building a genic agents extremely easy. Here, give the agent a model to use, add the system prompt and functions from Xtool, and we are done. Just an FYI. These are the tools that can be accessed with the free subscription. If you are using a paid account, you should add the rest of the functions. In the final step, insert the main routine to launch a conversation session. Now save the file and run the xAsian script in a terminal. For the first request, I would say create a tweet to explain the benefit of AI agents. From the log, we can see that a tweet is created with the post ID. And if I refresh my X page, and here's the tweet, AI agents enhance productivity by automating tasks, providing insights, and improving decision-making processes. Now let's say the tweet was a draft, it shouldn't be published, in that case, we can tell the agent, delete the tweet that I post previously. And if you want to share a media like a YouTube video in a request, simply provide the media URL and a description of what you want the agent to post. And that concludes this X-Agent development in Pydentic AI tutorial. Hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.